when I came to jujitsu, what really attracted me to it was that you can go 100%, you go 100%, try to kill each other, but it's all over with a tap. Hi, my name is Renee Serrano. They call me Lucky. My name is Adrian Garcia. So my name is Frederico Diaz. I am a white belt with one stripe. A blue belt with one stripe. I'm a black belt under Coach Stan Kendrick. And, and this, this is, is why I roll. I roll. So basically, I was at a CrossFit gym and I was about 100 pounds overweight. And I turned around to the side mat and there was a couple of gentlemen doing some grappling. I really didn't know what it was. I just thought, hmm, I'd like to try that. Basically, I was lost. I didn't know what type of techniques to do. Uh, you, you just get thrown in with the wolves and you just have to survive, you know. First day, I thought it was going to be fine. I went right away with coach. He went full steam on me, pressed me on the ground, and uh, kept me there for a long time, which I appreciate a lot. It was hard. I was afraid. I, was, I didn't feel good, but I knew I had to keep going back and, and, and win against my fears. The first guy I rolled with, I can remember, he got full mount and tapped me with just pressure, which is the last thing you want to tap to in Jiu Jitsu is just tapping the pressure. But that was my first match. The guy got on top of me, I didn't know what to do, and I tapped and I asked the coach what everybody asked. What do I do? All right, this is my game, deep half guard. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of have the entry to this. So usually I'm here, I'm putting up some type of a block, and now I need a big opening because if he has his opening closed, I can't, I can't go in. I'm dragging my leg, but then also too, I'm gonna have this under, like either under hook or at least on the belt line. And now when I see the opening, I, I can actually come under. I'm gonna pull him on top. Now as I go, I'm going to move my whole body towards him, pull him down, and then I'm going to move my hips, uh, or put my knees to the ground, basically. So it's going to look like this, right there. And then that's where we're going to stop. Okay? Okay, so. I think a lot of people give up because, because of their own heads, their own world. You wake up in the morning, and your head start telling you you're tired right tonight maybe you can skip class why are you gonna show up and get crushed why you you want to be in, in that position you, you have to fight your head your head is your worst enemy sometimes right so I honestly honestly I don't know if I think about quitting every day but I think about not going every day every class it's not something that's very comfortable. You're sweating, you're smashed. Just the grappling with uh, people that are much larger than you. Not everybody sticks around and can really gut it out. It takes a lot of strength and inner uh, discipline to even continue with jujitsu. Have I thought about quitting? No. Have I thought about quitting? No. But I have had those days where we like to call it a roller coaster where you're having a great night or you're having a terrible night, and I've had those nights. To have somebody on top of you, going full go, breathing in your face, sweating in your eyes, but when you're in it and you're on that zero point and you're not thinking and everything's working, it's perfect, it's perfect. So far, I've been in it for four years and I have lost over 100 pounds. 
It's always making you want to improve yourself. You have a huge family with all the other students and what we want to do is try to improve together. The only regret that I have in jiu-jitsu is that I didn't start sooner.